Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. It's that magical time of the day where Chris takes something apart. So let's go over right now and see what he's up to. But before we do, it happens to be the model PFA2. Let's see what he's up to. Thank you, Stuart. I have here Wheelan Engineering's PFA2, the Pioneer flood fixture, dual panel, black housing. It's also available in white. I'm gonna give you a bit of an inside look as to what's going on behind this front polycarbonate rough and tumble lens, the inside optics, and what's going on behind the panels inside. To start things off, I'll go ahead, remove the four bolts that'll hold the front face to the main housing here. So now with those removed, you can remove the top cover panel, as well as the front lens fixture to better reveal the insides. You have two panels, both very highly polished to be very reflective, diffuser on both the top and bottom level, and a series of diodes, again, both on a top and bottom level on both sides of the fixture. I'm gonna go ahead, remove a few screws inside to get the reflective panels out of the housing. So now with the screws loosened, I can free the inside panel and go ahead and tip it over here to get the other screws out. Or I'll just leave them in. They're going back in anyway. The inner board assembly itself has two rows of diodes, six on the bottom, six on the top. The board assembly itself is one piece with an aluminum backing. It's epoxy sealed across the entire front, including the connection harness. That makes it a very, very rough and tumble, weather resistant unit. Behind the board, inside the housing, you can see there's another aluminum fixture. The fixture here, the fixture here, act as a heat sink for the series of diodes on each board set. In turn, the heat builds up on the aluminum, dissipates into the housing, off to the fins that you can see clearly here on the back of the unit, basically heat going off the back for dispersion. I'll flip this back over here. It is the same thing behind this panel here, but just to show you, proven there's nothing fancy or super secret hidden behind it, I'll remove this one quickly as well. Reflector again, revealing the second board. Again, two rows of diodes, six and six, complete epoxy covered, aluminum backing to the aluminum extrusion inside the housing. Inside the unit here, you may have noticed, there's a black gasket. This helps to seal the front lens and front face onto 
the housing assembly here. Again, creating a barrier against moisture that can come into the unit. Also quickly, on the bottom of the unit, you have two Gore-Tex breathers. These are basically air extractors. Because the unit itself has air inside, when the unit heats up and the unit cools down, to help cool the unit, breathers in the bottom to allow dispersion. The Gore-Tex breathers also allow for condensation, yes, I did say condensation, that can build up inside the unit to escape. With that, go ahead, put it back together for you here quickly. Let's take my reflector boards, make sure that the Pioneer is facing the bottom. That way when I reassemble it, everything looks proper. Again, this one here as well. Make sure to line my board up inside with the screws that go through the reflector and again hold the board into the housing inside. Start with this side here. And slide it around, give it a little bit of a wiggle. That way, the screw realigns into the housing properly. We'll go ahead, same thing with this side here. What do you think? Looks good. Looks good. How come you got such a nice studio? I never get a nice studio like this. It's pretty impressive. Nice thing with the placement of these really tight knit screws is that you can see both panels are complete uniform in how they're mounted into this. And this really helps to create a really high intensity level that's focused. So that way your beam intensity to the left, to the right, the top, the bottom is completely equal. You don't have anything that's offset. I'll go ahead, take my front lens here. On the lens, if you run your finger over it, there's a bit of a bevel to the front of it. The bevel itself, you're gonna to wanna to have to the inside of the unit. That way your outside is completely smooth. Take my housing lock front panel here, realign it. I'll go ahead, start these by hand here. And to help create a nice equal seal, I'm gonna go ahead and cinch the screws down in a cross pattern. Go ahead, tighten these down a bit here. And there we have it, reassembled. The unit itself is a very nice length harness. The series of four wires in a pigtail form. Red lead here, another white lead, black round, followed by a green ground. These units here, 
go ahead and connect to a good 12 volt source. Take my red, take my white. So got those connected up here. And sorry to do it, but here goes the camera. Nice thing with the LED fixtures, like you saw, instant on, instant off. So no bulbs to heat up, no ballast to get charged up, just instant. Great thing with LED. So what more can I say? Whelan's Pioneer flood fixture, nice black housing. Back to you, Stuart. Well, thanks, Chris. Appreciate you disassembling that product. Hopefully you know to put it back together again. I'm Stuart. Thanks for watching Cyanet Television.